Hello, I'm Archie Luxury reporting live for the Archie Luxury channel in syndication with the Paul Pluter channel. And today I'm doing paid reviews. And uh, I've got a paid review from, uh, this is from Switzerland. It's from, uh, what's his name here? Ivo. Hi Art, sent you 30 on PayPal because I like your educating and entertaining work. I'm a 25 year old Swiss guy. Please don't mention my name. Thank you. Well, gee, Ivo, you know, it's a bit fucking late. Anyhow, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, at the moment, I'm saving up for a gold submariner with no holes case. I need your advice. When I was younger, I was into smaller two-tone watches. As you can see, as you can see, I have a Rolex Datejust 16013, Breitling Wings B10350, and a Tudor Prince with diamond dial. Two years ago, I wanted a bigger watch, so I bought a Panerai Pam 106 Luminar Submarine in Submersible in titanium with titanium bracelet. I chose it over a Jaeger Le Coultre Master Compressor Extreme World Chronograph. Maybe this wasn't a good decision in the first place. It's a rare Panerai, one of 500 with dark grey dial and special bracelet. I don't like, I don't like the watch very much. It's my beta, and you made me insecure about its value. Should I trade the watch for a Rolex? I'm thinking about the following. A Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea 44mm, Rolex Submariner LV Hulk, or a Rolex Daytona Steel with black dial. Which one of these can you recommend me? I want to wear it every day. It should hold its value even with a few scratches on it. Please don't recommend me an Ex Rolex Explorer 2 or an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I have a second question. What do you know about the quality of G Rolex GMT watches that's got fully iced out diamonds aftermarket? Can I wear it without losing diamonds? I know they're hard to resell. Sorry for my English. Sorry in advance. Take the time that you need. I'm looking forward to the video. Sorry for my bad English. Greetings from Switzerland. Okay, thank you very much, Ivo. Sorry for mentioning your, well, I didn't mention your last name, so it's not a big fucking disaster, is it? Don't carry on like a pussy. And I don't, I don't want to reshoot the video because I just can't be fucked. Jeez, you've got some shitters there. I mean, the Rolex Datejust 16013. That's an old, what's that? That's a pre-87 type watch. Brightling Wings can't stand it. And Tudor Prince with Diamond Dial. It's a faggot's watch if I've ever heard of one. And you're from Switzerland. So Switzerland's one of the most expensive places on the planet to buy watches. So let me guess, you didn't get a discount? You got the Panerai? Yeah, I don't know what to say about the Panerai. I hate titanium, personally. That's my own view. I really hate titanium, but okay, you, you seem to... You've got a titanium Panerai, fair enough. The Jaeger Le Coultre, they, 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 they sink like a stone in reset. The, the master compressor just sinks like a stone, so I don't know whether you've, you've really dipped out that badly. Now, Ivo, man, come on, get with the program. Buying brand new, man, what are you? This is just bad news. This is bad news. Why are you buying new? Why are you buying new shit? I mean, man, you gotta fucking get with the program and start buying news. News is what you want. You don't wanna buy fucking new things. I mean, <coughs> man. I hope you haven't bought those other shitters in your collection all new. But uh, anyhow, let's look at this. Okay, yeah, you think, should I try? Look, get out of anything to get get some decent shit there. It's just got to happen. You've got some, you've got some real, I mean, that, that, that Tudor with the diamond dial, that's a faggot's watch if ever I heard of one. The 16013, that should be a beta. I don't really like the 16013. I prefer the sapphire crystal version. That's the 16... 233 the 16013 kind of shits me off a bit there in all honesty the brightling the brightling's ugly as shit get rid of it the tudor prince as i said it's a faggot's watch uh the panerai i hate titanium but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll cut you some slack on it and uh what would i get look i reckon the daytona of course the daytona get the daytona but I think you're going to have trouble. You're not going to be able to get the new new ceramic bezel Daytona. That's next to impossible to get on the used market. Not a huge fan of the Hulk. I prefer the standard standard Submariner. 
I'd go pre-ceramic, but you're not, you, you don't want to hear that from me. You want the deep sea. Which one of these can you recommend? Well, I think all of them are okay. They should hold their value. Well, hopefully you buy it second hand. Hopefully you're not going to buy new. Now, your next question is, I have a second question. What do you, okay, so, so basically I'm saying to you, Rolex, Steel Sports, sure, that's okay. You, you Safe buying, if you're gonna buy anything new, it's gonna be a better buy than those other pieces of shit you bought. So um, that's, that, that's, that's my opinion on the, and I'm, I am the pontiff after all. So let, let, let's just re, recap here. So Rolex Steel Sports, sure, definitely I encourage you to buy that. Much better than the other crap you've been buying. So let's have a look. Your second question is, is, is uh, the second question I have, what do you know about the quality of Rolex GMT watches that guide iced out diamonds? Man, that's a dumb thing to do. It depends on the quality of the work. I mean, Jesus Christ. One size doesn't fit all. This is aftermarket, so it depends. Some aftermarket butchers do a bad job. Some aftermarket butchers do a good job. It depends on the work that's done, but why would you put diamonds on a sports watch? That is just so passe. It's so, so tacky. You know what I mean? So tacky and ugly. Why would you do that? I mean, that's just, I don't understand it. Why, do you own one? <laughs> Are you too embarrassed to tell me you own one of these pieces of shit? Or you want to buy one? Um, you know they're hard to resale. Is, is that from personal experience or are you just guessing there? Yeah, I I'd, I'd personally, I wouldn't touch one with a barge pole. Why, 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 why do you ask this question? There's a dangerous undertone in your questions there. So I'd stay away from it if you own one. Fuck, di diamonds don't go on a sports watch. That's for faggots. Faggots wear diamonds on a sports watch. You can wear gold sports watch, like my gold sub, but you don't put fucking diamonds on it. That's what faggots do. So, yep, that's um, that's my opinion. Archie Luxury signing out. Tell me what you think. This is a paid review for Ivo. He's got, he's bought a lot of shit there that I, I, I really don't really like his collection. A lot of, a lot of stuff I, and he's Swiss. You know, Switzerland's probably one of the most expensive places on the planet to buy watches. They don't discount. Well, Ivo, I think you're about, gonna about to learn about resale value the hard way. So, uh, yeah. So there you go, Ivo. Thank you for your your 30 bucks. Was it 30 bucks? How much was it? 30 bucks. Thank you so much. And um, I hope that video has ans answered a few questions. See you later, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.